Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Persona 5. So, <clears throat> what have I been up to since the last time you saw me? Well, first and foremost, I am much more powerful. I went and grinded and got plenty of levels. I am powerful. I am a god. I am a shadow covert operative. Yeah, see? Shadow, wor shadow worker. Yeah, we're... We're all, we're all drip, we are all dripped out of our goddamn minds, man. It's fa fucking fantastic. Anyways, back to the bank entrance. I'm getting an uneasy feeling. Come inside. There's a matter we must discuss with you. Enter. What do you think, oh. Surprise. Uh, what the hell's going on? This is a failsafe to ensure you do not neglect your rehabilitation. It's intended to push you into performing executions. We call it a fusion alarm. It's a warning system that tells you when you've been slacking off on your duties. When you hear this sound, the first things on your mind should be this place and executions. You must become stronger for the sake of your rehabilitation. Executions will be much more severe when the alarm is sounding. The result of this is that any fused personas will be further strengthened. However, the more executions that you perform during the alarm, the higher the chance of an accident occurring. With that in mind, you must prepare more than usual while performing executions in the midst of an alarm. The alarm will sound after you've endured numerous repeated battles. Make certain you come here as soon as you hear it. Got that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Good. You'd better make excellent use of the alarm. All right. So I have only a passing understanding of how this works, but I do know I do have an idea of how I'm supposed to take advantage of this. Well then, continue to devote yourself to your rehabilitation. So, for one, I know I can't use the same personas over and over. So, we're going to fuse one persona in particular. Principality. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. I don't think it's that bad, damn. It's gonna learn Medea Rama, right? Wait, is that all it's really gonna get out of this? That's it, really? I thought I got more. Oh well. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's still gonna be fairly useful for what I need it for. So let's see. Uh. Uh, Divine Grace, Regenerate, and Taruka Rakunda. This should confer some small power. Well, well. I got rid of uh, blue of uh, Beerith and blue slime. Got it. Principality, welcome to the party. Might as well take advantage of all those levels I gained, because God knows I need some new personas. It seems your newly born persona has more power than one normally would. Oh. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Regenerate 2, Ice Age, Terror Claw. Okay, I'll take it. The Regenerate 2 by itself is enough for me. Severe ice damage to all foes. Holy shit. Okay, fair enough. I have enough ways to get rid of status effects. I'll just do this. So 
So they can hear the straining of it, so I can't use... I shouldn't use any of the same personas I've already used. Like, at all. That's just gonna cause me more trouble later. In a lot of these, I don't want to use... I'm, I can fuse most of these later, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So we're gonna go... You're stopped. What? Done already. What? Yeah, because if I stop now, I'm guaranteed. Oh, sorry. If I stop now, I'm guaranteed not to have any more failures for right now. And I can always. I'll use this more in a way of getting more personas as I want them. So whenever a, an alarm goes off, I can fuse a persona I might actually want. No. But you really can't exploit this too much your first time. This one's all you. Anyways, uh, view uh, registered only. So we need Beerith. This is the you wish to summon this for this is your power. And uh blue slime, right? Blue slime? I think it's this one. This yeah, blue slime. Fantastic. Get the fuck back at my party. Alright, we're good. Finished already. We are set. I will do the rest of my fusions later. I wanna go back. The rest of my fusions can all happen later. I got what I mostly wanted out of this. Hey. What are you doing? We should get going. All right, let's get the fuck out of here then. What do you want to do? We've secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Fuck yeah, let's go home. Now returning to the real world from Kanashiro's palace. Thank you for your hard work. Hell yeah. Oh man, uh, one uh, someone in the comments when I first did this in uh, Kamoshida's palace was like, "It's so satisfying watching your infiltration log fully fill up after one visit." Yeah, I agree. It's entirely satisfying. Thank you. Oh goodness, we finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. You're right. And once we send it, the heist is the only thing left. We, the only thing left. We have to succeed. I'll let you decide when we do it, Joker. Let's make sure we're ready before then. Someone, some, someone my friend knows got blackmailed. Did someone really get kidnapped? Seriously, that's horrible. Apparently, you could never shake him off. They said it's hell. I hear they get really aggressive. Yeah. This is why this is why you don't take money from people, man. Bad idea. Uh, you're back. Okay. You did great to that. Are you tired? When are we gonna send the calling card? We should hurry up. I have to agree, the earlier the better in my book. If there's no insurances, he'll keep his promise after all. What are your thoughts on the matter, Makoto? Honestly, I can't wait to send it. I wanna put an end to his nasty crimes as soon as possible. I agree. Damn, I gotta step up my game. You guys are super passionate. We'll be ready to go whenever you are. Alright, so... Uh, tonight is going to be uh, nothing more than crafting tools. But... I am actually in a good spot. Because if I recall correctly, I'm actually already ahead. Um, am I ahead? I think I'm already ahead, right? Like, I'm already ahead on my crafting tools. Yeah. No, you know what I'll do? Yeah, I think I'm ahead. Where where are my, um, my social stats? What are my social stats guild? Okay, so I'm not quite there yet. But I should be fine, right? Because... I have like two days back to back, and I'm going to be crafting tools pretty often, and this would probably be a really good opportunity for me to get ahead on something else, because I don't think I'm going to be lacking in crafting that hard. I don't think that's going to be what slows me down. So I'm actually going to diverge a little bit and not craft. We're going to watch I See You tonight. I'm not worried about crafting tools. I can do that later. Because I'll prob I'm probably going to rank up next time I do it anyways, and that's fine. 
My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Wow. I like this guy. A person's life is valuable no matter what they've done. Yep. No matter the circumstances, those doctors never gave up. Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this. Mm -hmm. Nice. And this shouldn't affect me that badly because I'll be crafting, I think, the next day, actually. Yeah, like, tomorrow I'll be crafting tools anyways. So, I'll just exchange one day for another because I need to make sure this, I need to make sure this is watched. The guide doesn't say it, but I know the guide's fucked up for uh, the next month, so, gotta I fix it. it. Time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. I can't be late today, too. Not a morning person? No. I was up very early shooting a news show. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sorry. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. But in English, it's more common to hear people say, the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful! Expressions for weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then, Mr. Karusu. Which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about the weather? Oh, obviously, it's raining cats and dogs. Duh. That's right, raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs means it's pouring rain. The strongest theory for its origin is that the sound of the rain resembles that of dogs and cats fighting. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dogs' weather, too. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe he is actually smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Nice. Additionally, in Norwegian, they say it's raining witches, and in Polish, they say it's raining frogs. Each country has its own way of describing heavy rain, and its own metaphorical substitute for falling from the sky. Oh yeah, over here they say that when a cat washes its face, it rains. I wash my face every day because I like being clean, and that's not at and that's not at all true, and that's not true at all. Oh, uh, but I'm not a cat, of course. All right, so today we're going to diverge a little bit. We're gonna go to. Uh, Kichioji, because today we're actually supposed to be sending the calling card. So that's going to be something we are going to be doing. Uh, today we send the calling card. We don't actually wait very long this time around to send it. But because I did all that grinding, I have a bunch of stuff I want to get rid of. So we're going to go and sell a bunch of stuff today. I want to sell. Sell all clothes. 81,000 yen. Hell yeah. Nice. Let's see prizes. Do you have anything new? No, you have nothing new. And I'm not going to waste my time and or money um, in my inventory space, which doesn't matter anyways. We're going to go to Shibuya next. Uh, Central Street. Mostly to sell stuff. I guess I could have just went there. Um, it's fine. Either way, we're basically fine. I'm really not that concerned about anything at this point. I'm basically on target to win no matter what happens. I want to make a purchase. Uh, do you have anything new for me? No, it doesn't look like you do. So we're really just here to sell that, aren't we? I guess that's fine. Nice. You should be grateful. Yeah, these are just all old weapons, anyway. Fuck it. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I went through everyone's weapons, right? 
Yeah, because anytime I get a new weapon in dungeons, they instantly just equip them anyway, so... That's not usually a big concern I have, honestly, about, like... That's one, like, feature I do like about this game, is that when you get new weapons, the game just instantly just assumes you're gonna want to equip them anyways, and it just does it for you, which... I approve of greatly. You should be grateful, I guess that's fine. You should be grateful, I guess that's fine. You should be grateful, I guess that's fine. Uh, right. so, what else do we have? Dun, 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 Next up, we're gonna head... Oh, fuck, I don't want to head to the access way. No, do not do not go to the access way. I want to go back to uh, Yongin Jaya. We're gonna go to the clinic. Stock up on some items, frankly. <laughs> Please head to the exam room. What do you want? Well, Buy items. Want? What do you have for me to them? Oh, tell? yeah. Decide? Absolutely. I want like ten of these. I can, afford, I can afford it. For once, I can actually afford most things in this. I can afford almost everything here, can't I? That should work. Thanks. Alright. That's all I want from that. What about accessories? What else do you have? This will work well. Oh. It's exceptionally effective. I'll go. buy this, and I'll this buy another one of these. Boom. Take care. Cause I'm probably not switching my team out that hard, right? Like I'm probably not gonna switch my team out too badly. I think my team is fairly set. Oh yeah, you're not in my team. Fuck you. That's just that's off. That's out the question. You're in my team. Yeah, it's either Makoto or On, and I'm probably gonna go Makoto. I feel like Makoto deserves to be here, and I need to have Use K in my team because I wanted to get some extra experience. Gee, it always it always dawns on me just how many fucking personas I actually have. Let's go fuse a different chariot persona. That that needs to be something we probably should take care of. While I'm not super duper hard set, I, I probably should have a better persona on me than him. I don't I mean, he's not terrible, it's just he probably isn't the best I could be doing. So let's go fuse another chariot persona. Oh, fuck me. I went to the wrong... Fuck, I went to Station Square. Shit. Central Street. Thank you. Hey, inmate. Yeah, we're going to fuse a different uh, chariot persona. I don't really need it, but I probably should just have one. Something stronger, if I'm going to have it, because I'm not going to be mastering. That one's not going to be getting perfected for, that one's not going to be getting finished for a bit. So I might as well just have a, a better one if possible. Oh, what I actually need though is, pre is a Priestess, because uh, that's going to be a thing as well. I think I still have Oni on me, don't I? Yeah, I still have Oni, so I might need to fix that as well. Fuck it, let's go and get rid of Oni, because I don't need him on my team anymore. Let's do it. I do not require Oni. He was more of a uh, a gimmick. There we go. No more, no more Oni. I had one extra slot. I thought I'd fuse something a little stronger just in case. But I don't really need him. We are going to need Priestess, so we're going to go on and fuse a Priestess. Because we do actually need that. We're going to be starting Queen Social uh, Confidant very soon. Uh, regenerate, Divine Grace. I don't know what else to put here, honestly. I don't really need a lot of. I don't really it's use buffs all that often, honestly. <laughs> Who did I sacrifice? I think I sacrificed Phoenix and Blue Slime again, didn't I? Yeah, Phoenix and Blue Slime. Alright, fantastic. 
Isis. I need to have this one anyways. I'm also going to need one for Fortune as well. So let's go get that one done as well because we are going to need this one you as okay well. Cloth though will be so necessary like for some me. point in this. We are going to actually need this to be done. Its power will be nothing unusual. Then That's fine. It doesn't have to be amazing. I just need it to be better. Uh, okay. Uh, Isis. I gotta get back Isis as well, don't I? Isis and um, Gold Slime. Got it. Isis and Gold Slime. We're not gonna keep Clotho around for right now because I don't need her right now. Like, right now, I don't actually need her, but she's going to be necessary, because I'm going to be working on that social link, her confidant, very soon. So I might as well just have it, just so I have it. So let's get rid of Cloth, though. Uh, she's already now in my um, compendium, which is all that really matters. Register, uh, view. So what was it? It was like... Uh... Fuck, I'm really bad at this too. Uh, Phoenix, Blue Slime, Gold Slime? Is this what you always draw? This, this is your power. Is this what you want? No, that's fine. Uh, is this what you want? Blue you Slime. Draw this, then accept this persona. This persona? We also need a gold slime as well. This persona you withdraw this gold persona. slime this persona. and uh, priestess. Isis. A is required. This is your power. There we go. Fantastic. Are you finished? Yeah, we're done. What? That's it. That's all I need. It is time in me. I am finished. I no longer require anything else. Um, what we are going to do, I forgot to do this while I was in Young and Jaya. That's my bad. I'm going to go back to Young and Jaya real quick and uh, go on and buy crafting tools. I don't think I need anything right now, but uh, doesn't hurt just to buy them all out. Oh, I have that. There we go. All right. Fantastic. We're good. Let's, uh, Shibuya access way. Time to go send the calling card, everybody. Oh, Ryuji, hello. Ah, uh, uh, hey, hey, Makoto. Hmm? Is something wrong? Nah, nah, it's nothing. Well, it definitely doesn't seem like it's nothing to you. Uh, so, I I've been doing a little thinking, and, uh, how do I put it? Uh, uh, I, I guess I was thinking about coming up with a new move, like a uh, special tag team move kind of thing. So, I got this idea while playing a video game, and, um, uh, it's a move that's gonna need your help. My help? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. I just saw something like it in the game and thought it looked cool. But when I try to say it out loud, it seems too insane. Insane, huh? So, in other words, you may have come across a special attack that outclasses any of our previous moves. I... what? Why don't you tell me your idea? By the way you described it, it must be a pretty good one. Uh, alright. Just don't get mad at me, okay? I see. <laughs> so stupid, right? Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> please, please forget what I said. That could work. Uh, yeah, that could work. <laughs> Wait, what? But if we are going to do this, we'll have to push ourselves harder than ever before. Think you can keep up? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna show them the real meaning of pain. We should probably get going now, though. I wouldn't want to make everyone else wait. Yeah.
All that's left is the calling card, right? We should send it. I would agree, but it will not be an easy task this time. Yeah, nobody actually knows him. <sighs> There's so goddamn much I want to write on the calling card, too. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, Kira. So, get this. I was talking with Makoto earlier. We came up with this insane move. Insane? Well? Well, man, not in a bad way. It's a bit difficult to explain with words alone. Don't worry, I'll take care of the explain. Alright, so the plan is... Did it just... Huh? Did the star just light up? What did you say? So it's just like how I reacted with Lady On and I the last time. I don't... It doesn't react at all to other times, though. I don't get how this thing works. Jesus. Instead of granting wishes, maybe it just offers a bit of support. As long as it's beneficial to us in some ways, I'm happy. Then let's give it a try when there's an opportunity. Make sure to match my timing, okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Nice. All right, send the calling card, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this done. I guess we should send out the calling card. Now the question is, how do we deliver the calling card to him? Yeah, we don't know where he lives. Hmm? Why not use the same method as before? Huh? Rain, huh? I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. So, what ended up happening with the calling card? Makoto took Ryuji with her. She specifically mentioned that he would be fine and we have nothing to worry about. Hmm, I wonder what she plans on doing with them. Has anyone heard anything from either of them? Ah, uh, let's leave it to them. I'm sure it'd be fine if Makoto's there with them. It, I'd be definitely worried if Ryuji was going alone, though. You do have a point. I suppose we'll find out either way tomorrow. For now, we should go get some rest. Yep, see ya! We only have one shot at this. Don't let your guard down. Yo. Hey, another box came for you. Hey. Black rock. Black robe. Oh. Ah, nice. Alright, fair enough. So today, we're going to go on and make our crafting tools. I didn't do this last time. Because it didn't make any sense to. Because uh, I didn't need them. But given the circumstances now, I kind of feel like me making them would probably be in my best interest. Uh, so we're just going to make, like, five lockpicks. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I bet you I rank up. Yes. I bet you I rank up. Yeah. Watch. Well, I guess I probably, you know, I think one more day I'll probably rank up because I've gotten enough extra points throughout my playthrough that I'm probably still ahead. So even if I miss like one day, it's not going to make that big of a deal. The reason I'm doing this is because technically the resource I use, I don't ever, I don't finish watching ICU, right? And I want to finish that. So the best way to finish it is just to do it earlier because there's only one other night when I'm going to be watching it by default on my timeline, which is actually after we defeat Kanashiro. Excuse me, sir, but uh, I found this on the car. There's something written on it. Hmm? Read it. Um, but... I said, read it! <clears throat> sir Junya Kanashiro, the money-devouring sinner of gluttony, you indulge in scamming others with horrendous m methods that target minors exclusively. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail. From the Phantom Thieves. I isn't this bad? What of it? If something happened to you, I mean, if the higher-ups find out about this... Don't waste your time worrying about this useless shit. Just keep quiet for now. 
but it's posted all around the city. People are talking about it online, too. Yeah. All of you, bring me your earnings. If you don't surpass your quota, I'll kill you. Yes, sir. Phantom thieves, don't make me laugh. Card's been posted all over Shibuya. A good idea, no? Given the theatrical nature of this one, Kanashiro must surely have been contacted about it. You truly are the brains of this Phantom Thieves operation. Ryuji, you should follow her example. Uh, you know, I'm the one who went posting it everywhere, right? I even had to get all dressed up so they wouldn't notice me. Come now, we don't have the time for idle chit chat. Let us get moving. We're going up against a truly horrible criminal this time. That dick ain't gonna stop us now that we got our awesome new member. Makoto, remember how all this works? Once we steal the treasure, the palace will crumble, and the palace ruler's heart will change. Wow, you got that quick. I think Ryuji's still struggling to comprehend it all. The old me is dead. Makoto the sycophant is gone, and the corrupt adults who controlled her are next. Sounds like you're fired up. All right, Joker. Give us the signal. Ha! <laughs> Let's get this done, motherfuckers. It's Time to put this nigga in his place. Let's handle this bitch. Cause we're the shadow. We're the Phantom Thieves, shadow operatives. Let's get this done. Uh, we're gonna actually move some equipment around. Um, who? I got Ryuji. I got on. I got uh, Ryuji, Yusuke, and Makoto, right? Well, you're getting. All right, let's go. Da 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 Yo, these outfits are fucking insanity. We're fucking shadow operatives. I love it. True phantom thieves at our core, everybody. True phantom thieves. Huh? Is that Kanashiro? He was waiting for us. Mr. Kanashiro, Mr. Junior Kanashiro, we are the Shadow Operatives, and we're here to put an end to your crimes. You can either come with us quietly, or we can make this incredibly painful. The hell? A safe? This wasn't here the last time we came. He changed the entire room so quickly. <laughs> I guess this palace isn't a bank for nothing. Greetings. Welcome to my private city bank. I'm surprised you made it here alive. It seems you're quite lucky. Lucky? Don't be ridiculous. We're gonna change your heart and make you confess everything you've done. That'll save all those people who are suffering because of your shitty actions. Even the police are struggling to deal with you, so this will make the public believe in us too. Those in power work the ones below them to the bone for money. Such is the hierarchy of the world. Just accept your fate as a source of my wealth. We'll never agree to that. And hierarchy? You have to be out of your mind. All of that was forced on me too, you know. I went through shit until I crawled my way out of the dregs. Now it's my turn to profit on everyone else. Still, don't you think you're getting back at the wrong people? What a pitiful man. It doesn't matter whether you're clean or dirty. Only the clever come out on top. The strong and the smart devour the weak. That is the natural order of things. You damn brats who think you know the world through the shit you read online will make perfect prey. Huh. 
He is utterly hopeless. It's always the fools who get tricked. Fools who have to pay for their foolishness. And if those fools don't learn, or they have to suck it up and stay as plain stupid fools. Will you just shut it already? I guess there's not much point saying anything to you fools. This is where my gracious lecture ends. Now then, I hope you're ready to work as slaves here for the rest of your lives. That's outrageous. <laughs> I'm gonna swarm all over you and squeeze out every last penny! Take care of this myself. What's up, yo? Now come get some. You filthy fly on dirty money. Get the hell out of my face. <laughs> Fine. Here we go, you pieces of shit. Oh, you gonna regret this move, my nigga. You <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. I think kind of Shiro's pushing P out here. He'd have something like this up his sleeve. Joker, make sure you have us regroup if you think we're at a disadvantage. That thing's a giant. If it attacks us while we're at low stamina, we won't survive. Get him, Joker! We should check his thing. Uh, yeah, I ain't trying to get hit by some stupid shit right now. I'd rather not. Hit this nigga with a raccoonder real quick. Thank you. I don't know Persona. their weakness. Guess we gotta try everything. Persona! Prepare yourself. Persona! Eat this! Man, one, one Rakunda really did wonders. This is why I went through the hassle of creating a brand new persona just for this encounter. Giant slice. Into us. 
Nice. A big one's coming. Yeah, we're just gonna guard. I ain't taking no chances on this. Not really. Let's go. It's fine. Me Meteorama. Everybody get healed. I appreciate it. Thanks. Persona. Take that. Flash bomb. I am thou. Prepare yourself. Yeah, sure, why not? As you know, Kanashiro is a money monger. Tossing an expensive item his way might draw his attention and serve as a distraction. Sounds like a plan. Try, Joker. It's your call. Joker. What about this one? How about this? Let's try throwing this. <laughs> what about this one? How about this? Let's try to leave it to I don't want to get rid of a perfectly good item, though, but I have no choice. I think so. We don't need to worry about getting rushed now. Nice work, Joker. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be running out of uh, turns for us to be able to uh, really take advantage of the fact that I uh, lowered his defense. So we're going to have to really go in on them now. Finish him off. There we go. What? My Pegatron! That's it. I'll just deal with you busters myself. What the? I paid these guys off. And now they're gonna clean you up. You like that? Not really. Yeah, block, dickhead. Alright, we gotta deal with uh, these dickheads. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Do me a favor, go to sleep. Thanks. I should just be able to go for him now, but I gotta get rid of both. As much as I'm not a fan of all these technical hits he's getting, I don't have much of a choice. Try this on for size.
Foo Foo Law, please. Uh, do I have any big spells? I, do. I don't want to hit them all, though. Oh, God, the only things I got are, like, group hitting. I don't want to hit, like, the entire group. I just want to hit fucking one of them. Here, how about this? Ow. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I ran out of cash. Hey, where'd everyone go? I'm just a little short on funds at the moment. Come on, come back, yo. Minions are nowhere to be seen. I guess relationships built on money don't mean anything once the wealth dries up. That's usually how it goes. Shit! I screwed up! You're out of options here. Why won't you accept your fate already? Let's go. Uh, I ain't trying to, like, pick a fight with you without being healed. Oh, uh... Alright! I appreciate it! Thank you! Woo! Nice. <laughs> Dealt with. I can't. And if I don't have money, then I... Oh, I know. There's still money inside Pigatron. Gotta get back in there. from innocent people. Fine. I'll call off the debt. Fine? You're still sounding pretty condescending. You're right. I'm a poor, ugly idiot. How am I supposed to live a normal life like this? It's all because of our society. Weak people can't lead a happy life, no matter what they do. I'm a victim too, you know? Yeah, none of this is my fault. The more you talk, the more pathetic you sound. I just wanted a place where I could belong. You get that, don't you? Bullshit! All you did was surround yourself with people you could use, solely for some easy money. And you think you're the only one who's got to deal with being labeled? Me and all these other guys. We're all fighting against that. But don't worry. You'll finally have a place you belong. Somewhere you can make amends. For the rest of your life. We're gonna do something about that distorted heart of yours. Free of charge. I'm glad you understand. Now hurry up and return to the real Kaneshiro. Seriously? You guys don't have any tact. Especially with that incredible power. These palaces can net you loads of cash. You can do whatever you wanted to people's hearts. We're not like you. <laughs> Where do you find meaning in that naive sense of justice? You know, there's already someone out there taking full advantage of what palaces have to offer. What? I'll let you in on a little something. There's a criminal using other people's palaces to accomplish whatever they damn well please. They don't care about consequences, psychotic breakdowns, Mental shutdowns. Anything goes. Is that the same person Madarame's shadow spoke of? Spill it! Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't even bother. 
father. You are nothing compared to them. Better be careful. A chance encounter with them could prove fatal. We can think about that later. Grab the treasure. There's no time. In that case, we should take that large one. Wait, what? What's gotten into him? This is so cool! Wowee! Being a human is great! It's, it's shiny, shiny gold! are so careless. Meow. Meow. Oh, I think I cracked my ass. On, um, are you all right? Is yours cracked as well? Of course not. Isn't it supposed to be though? Uh, th that's not what I mean. More importantly, it's dangerous for us to just charge out like that. <laughs> Thank goodness nobody was hurt. Uh, I wouldn't say nobody. That briefcase. It appears to have been the cause of Morgana's demise. That's not what I meant! Isn't that Kanashiro's? You mean his treasure? Hey, the light's red! Where should we open it? How about at karaoke? We'd have security cameras to worry about there. Oh, I got the perfect place. That's right! I was just in the mood for some coffee, too. And we need to fix Morgana up. So warm. This place is oddly calming. Have you learned anything new? It's sealed by a rotary lock. We'll need the combination to open it. Yeah! A rotary lock, huh? <laughs> I knew it. How did you get that? I simply memorized the combination. I saw him open and close it so many times, after all. Oh, well, that's scary. But amazing, too. Oh, that burns! Hey, hurry up and open it! Whoa. Uh, how much is this? I believe one stack is one million yen. million yen. Even after splitting it, we still each get five million. Holy shit. It's gonna be deluxe pork soup combo for me from here on out. You have to think bigger than that. Not to bring down the excited mood, but does this money look real to you? What? Children's Bank! For real? I guess this represents how everything he did was an act to make himself seem tough. No! <laughs> well, hey, at least it feels like we totes busted this case, right? What do you mean? Is busting a case good or bad? Both! Think 
the reward for the Phantom Thieves is feeling they totes busted the case. <laughs> ah, how funny. Uh, hold on a second. Even though the contents were nothing more than trash, the case itself is quite nice. All right, then, let's sell it. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted. By the way, Morgana, have any of your memories returned? No, not at all. Come on. Did that hit to your head make you forget even more? It's easy for you to talk. You're not the one who lost your memories. You have amnesia? Something like that. He does remember searching for treasures, though. <laughs> I hope your memories return soon, then. So, what happens next? First, we wait for Kaneshiro to have his change of heart. Ah, oh, it's gonna be big this time. People are gonna make a huge deal out of it, for sure. Hey, you know what Kaneshiro said at the end there? About that criminal using the metaverse? Yes, I was bothered by that as well. No point mulling over it now. Let's wait and see how Kaneshiro's change of heart goes first. We should probably just lay low for a while. I never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. About my request, how long is it going to take? This incident happened at the school you're supposed to be presiding over. <sighs> Excuse me, sir? We need to speak with you at once regarding the fishing organization operating out of Shibuya. Fine. I hope you remember who gave you that position to begin with. Our other operative gave us a list of candidates without delay. How different from a certain someone. Yes, of course. Please continue your investigation. We did all we can, right? All we need now is to do is wait for the results. I wonder what's going to happen when he has his change of heart. Do you think he'll turn himself in? That seems likely. I hope he spills everything to the police. Well, there will still be a few lingering worries, but I believe we did well. We did. Right? We're go we were going up against a real criminal after all. Yes, we managed to steal the heart of a notable lawbreaker. I can't wait to see a catchy's face when he hears the news. Honestly, I just hope people who see it get some courage from the news. There is one thing that still worries me though. Do you mean how someone else is using the metaverse for evil? It would be seriously unforgivable if someone was really doing that. Eh, we could think about that later. For now, let's just let's just wait for the change of heart. All we need to do now is let the results come rolling in. Anyways, everybody, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here and I will see you all next time with more Persona 5. Until then everyone, stay tuned. I'm signing out.